So Victron is coming out with a new visual update for their monitoring system, uh, Venus OS, and I want to show you it today. Now currently we have GUI mods installed on here and that works out pretty well. But this new update does a lot of the things that GUI mods does. And I'm going to show you how to install it if you'd like. Uh, you go to menu, settings, come on, settings, then firmware. And uh, what you're going to want to do is go to online updates. And then where it says update feed, you want to switch that to uh, latest release candidate. And that includes beta releases and things like that. And you'll get an update for this one, 3.20 uh, something else with a squiggly line. And you're going to want to install that. Now, I have already installed it. So you go ahead and you do that. And if you have GUI mods installed, it may show up with a white screen. It did that for me the first time, then I rebooted it and everything came up just fine. So <clears throat> I'd also caution anybody running a Raspberry Pi, do not do this quite yet. Uh, but after that's installed and you're rebooted, then you can go into display and language. And then you get UI version down here at the bottom. Click that. And let's go to beta version. Check the beta announcements. Yes, it is. This is incomplete, or incomplete rather. Uh, but I think it's showing us where Victron is going. Look at that. Fancy new boot menu or boot screen. It's a little dirty there, isn't it? And this system doesn't. While we have a solar charger, it's currently not plugged into anything. Um, so you can kind of see at an overview what's going on here. Let's just go through some of the different screens. Uh, so that's the brief. Then we've got overview. And that's kind of like the flow view that we saw before. And what's interesting about this is it does give us some more detail. Like if we tap this, we'll get that quick uh, input current limit. Let's try that, yeah. Where we can quickly set that, which is important. And a bunch of other information here. I'm trying to see what, remember what other ones do it as well. Uh, that's interesting, it's got a relay option for the solar charger. What else? Can we tap on anything else? Battery gives us a little uh, more detail. And I am told this also, if you have a battery shunt set up for your DC, uh, like an alternator charger or something, it will also display in here. But I don't have that set up currently. Let's check at levels here. I don't have any tanks. This is just our test rig. Uh, the notifications and then settings, which is pretty much our typical settings from the old UI. There might be more buried in here. I just haven't looked into it yet, but it's pretty darn interesting. The other thing I want to mention is, uh, so on the brief page here, you can tap this little icon there. And based on your location, it gives you some weather information. Um, and it's a nice little live graph of your loads and solar yield. I think that's pretty interesting. So we're all just kind of discovering this. And there's some, well, those are our controls for like, if you want to turn your generator on or off. Uh, I'll be honest, like I really like this, but... With GUI mods on the old UI, I think I might still prefer it, but at the same time, I'm really attracted to new stuff. And this is definitely new and shiny and definitely has a little bit better design, I would say. But uh, maybe it's just because it's new. So uh, tell me what you think. Uh, if you want to give this a try, uh, definitely do so at your own risk. Um, the only thing I... The, the other thing I want to mention is you can roll back entirely, and I'll show you how to do that. So we're going back here. 
And not only can you roll back entirely, you can actually, if this uh, beta version of Venus OS is giving you problems, you can revert all the way back to the previous one. And the way you do that is go into oh, firmware, uh, stored backup firmware. And then you can just click that one and reboot to it. And everything's back the way it used to be. So it's really nice. You can kind of test this stuff out without too much of a problem. So for the time being, I'm leaving this one up. Uh, I don't know. Tell me what you think. You like the new one or the old one?